Tennessee Missing Person Statistics Tennessee, situated in the southeastern region of the United States, is a landlocked state. It ranks as the 36th largest state by area and the 15th most populous among the 50 states. Tennessee shares its borders with Kentucky to the north, Virginia to the northeast, North Carolina to the east, and Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi to the south. It is also bordered by Arkansas to the southwest and Missouri to the northwest. The state of Tennessee is characterized by three distinct geographical, cultural, and legal divisions known as the Grand Divisions, comprising East, Middle, and West Tennessee. The capital and largest city of the state is Nashville, which serves as the central hub of its most extensive metropolitan area. Other major cities in Tennessee include Memphis, Knoxville, Chattanooga, and Clarksville. As of the 2020 United States Census, Tennessee's population is estimated to be around 6.9 million residents. Tennessee Missing Alerts and Qualifications Serving as the primary law enforcement authority in the state, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, TBI, facilitates the exchange of information among law enforcement agencies concerning missing persons. It extends investigative assistance and issues alerts to heighten public awareness in the gravest cases. Varieties of Alerts Various states establish unique criteria for missing persons alerts. In constructing Tennessee's program, the TBI has drawn upon national best practices to ensure both consistency and adaptability, enabling responses tailored to the specific circumstances of each case. Amber Alert Protocol Varieties of Alerts Various states establish unique criteria for missing persons alerts. In constructing Tennessee's program, the TBI has drawn upon national best practices to ensure both consistency and adaptability, enabling responses tailored to the specific circumstances of each case. The TBI will now issue a silver alert if someone 60 or older is missing and believed to be in danger, because of age, health, mental health conditions or physical disability. The law also applies to people of any age with dementia and those 18 and older with an intellectual, developmental or physical disability. For families dealing with the challenging circumstances of a loved one affected by Alzheimer's disease or another form of dementia, the potential for wandering is a real concern. In collaboration with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation and local law enforcement agencies, Alzheimer's Tennessee has introduced a valuable resource known as the Silver Alert Kit, to help you get ready. The Silver Alert Kit is a comprehensive package that equips you with life-saving information and tools, aiding rescuers in locating your missing loved one swiftly. The newly enacted Tennessee Silver Alert Law, effective as of July 1, 2021, is dedicated to saving lives, and Alzheimer's Tennessee urges all individuals who become aware of a Silver Alert issuance to be vigilant and watchful for the missing person. Janice Wade Whitehead, CEO and President of Alzheimer's Tennessee, underscores the life-saving importance of silver alerts, especially for the safety of Tennessee's seniors. She emphasizes that awareness and assistance from the community are vital in reuniting wandering individuals with their families. The Silver Alert Law entrusts the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, TBI, with oversight and the establishment of a uniform statewide protocol for locating missing persons. 
This includes disseminating public alerts through various media channels, posting information on highways, and leveraging social media. Additionally, it involves close coordination with local law enforcement. With the support of TBI in terms of education, implementation, and monitoring, the effectiveness of the Silver Alert system is greatly enhanced. A uniform protocol across the state streamlines the process, offering clear guidelines for local agencies, interagency collaboration, and media coordination to respond to reports of missing adults who may be disoriented and unable to find their way home. Since approximately 6 out of every 10 individuals with Alzheimer's disease will wander at some point during their illness, Alzheimer's Tennessee focuses on both prevention and preparedness. This nonprofit organization, headquartered in Tennessee with six regional offices, offers community, family caregiver, and healthcare professional education, emphasizing the common occurrence of wandering. Alzheimer's Tennessee provides a family contact guide and missing person profile form, Family Guide Missing Persons Silver Alert with Logos.pdf, which can be completed in advance or during crisis situations. Alzheimer's Tennessee also collaborates with the Medical Alert Foundation International to enroll individuals and families in the Medical Alert Found program. Operating as a 24-hour live emergency response service, this program ensures that anyone facing a medical emergency or the risk of wandering and becoming lost receives exceptional care while first responders work alongside medical or emergency response specialists to safely reunite loved ones. Tennessee Representative Jeremy Faison, the primary House sponsor of the Silver Alert Law, acknowledges the broad reach of Alzheimer's Tennessee across the state. He emphasizes the significance of grassroots efforts, sharing his personal connection to Alzheimer's as his grandmother was diagnosed when he was 13 years old. In Tennessee, approximately 120,000 individuals are presently living with Alzheimer's disease, with many more engaged in their care. Alzheimer's Tennessee, alongside the Tennessee Association of Area Agencies on Aging, the Tennessee Federation for the Aging, Tennessee AARP, and other senior advocacy groups, aspires to enhance the Silver Alert system, enabling the reunification of wandering individuals with their families and preventing all too frequent tragedies. The Silver Alert legislation received unanimous support in both houses, with Governor Bill Lee including funding in the budget. Sen. Becky Massey served as the prime sponsor in the Senate, while Rep. Jeremy Faison was the prime sponsor in the House. Alzheimer's Tennessee remains committed to making a difference in the lives of those affected by Alzheimer's and related conditions in the state of Tennessee. Endangered Child Alert, ECA, Overview The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, TBI, employs the Endangered Child Alert, ECA, exclusively in cases where there is a heightened worry for a missing child's safety. When activating an endangered child alert, the TBI communicates with local media outlets in specified regions within the state to disseminate information about the missing child, along with any other pertinent details. Additionally, the TBI leverages social media channels to extend the reach of this critical information. Endangered Child Alert, ECA, Defined the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, TBI, issues an Endangered Child Alert, ECA, when there is apprehension for a child's safety, even though there is no immediate threat of bodily harm or death. Such cases may encompass scenarios like interference by a non-custodial parent or a missing child who lacks access to essential medications. When an Endangered Child Alert is activated, the TBI informs local media outlets in designated state regions about the missing child, sharing any pertinent information that is available. The Holly Bobo Act is a legislation that raises the age threshold for endangered or missing adult alerts from 18 to 21. This act takes its name from Holly Bobo, a 20-year-old nursing student who was abducted from her residence in Darden, Tennessee, and tragically killed in 2011. If enacted, the Holly Bobo Act would mandate the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation to extend their existing program for endangered children and young adults to individuals under the age of 21 who meet the specified criteria. The Holly Bobo Act, a Tennessee state law, enhances the state's endangered alert system by extending its coverage to encompass missing or endangered young adults who are under the age of 21.
This legislative measure is named in memory of Holly Bobo, a 20-year-old nursing student who was tragically abducted from her Decatur County home in 2011. Under the provisions of this law, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation is empowered to issue endangered person alerts for any individual under the age of 21 who is classified as endangered or missing. The Holly Bobo Act received approval from both House and Senate speakers in March 2020 and officially became law after being signed by Governor Bill Lee. List of Missing Children Upon the request of local law enforcement, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, TBI, will feature information about missing children on its website, especially those who might be absent due to parental abduction, running away, or falling into an at-risk category. It's essential to recognize that the TBI's website list does not encompass all missing children in Tennessee. It is inclusive of cases where the Bureau has received requests from parents, guardians, or local law enforcement agencies, and those for which enhanced visibility could be beneficial. In Nashville, where Tennessee Governor Bill Andrew's Lee today signed night. into law a bill honoring the legacy of a murdered Sullivan County toddler. Uh, Governor Lee posted this photo on Twitter late this afternoon saying he signed Evelyn Boswell's link, law. Please. The bill passed both the State House and Senate unanimously I earlier don't know this year. That law will require not, parents to report their children start missing start within 24 start start hours if the child is do. 12 years or younger We're playing this under or the fair be charged with a Class A misdemeanor. Education the bill named after Evelyn Boswell, the Sullivan County toddler toddler whose remains yeah. were found on so family property go. in March 2020. She had been missing for this several is, months. Yeah, Evelyn's go. mother, Megan, is charged with first-degree murder and awaits mm -hmm. trial in Sullivan County. Her next court date is now set for May 14th. Title, The Unresolved Cases of Missing and Unidentified Persons in Tennessee. The state of Tennessee, like many others in the United States, grapples with a significant number of open cases involving missing and unidentified persons. These unresolved cases, which cut across missing individuals, unidentified bodies, and unclaimed persons, represent a complex and heartbreaking issue for law enforcement agencies, families, and communities. In this essay, we will delve into the sobering statistics of these cases, their impact on society, and the ongoing efforts to find answers and bring closure to affected families. The Missing Persons Dilemma in Tennessee, there are 792 open cases of missing persons, each representing a story of an individual who has mysteriously vanished, leaving loved ones in anguish and uncertainty. These cases encompass a broad range of circumstances, from children disappearing under suspicious circumstances to adults who have seemingly vanished without a trace. Behind each of these numbers lies a deeply personal and often tragic narrative, illustrating the profound impact on families and communities. The resolved cases. Thankfully, there have been 1,382 resolved cases, where missing persons were located and returned to their families. These successful outcomes are a testament to the dedication and hard work of law enforcement agencies, community organizations, and volunteers who collaborate to locate missing individuals and provide support to those affected. The Unidentified Persons Challenge. Another disheartening aspect of this issue is the presence of 121 open cases involving unidentified persons. These are individuals who have been found deceased, their identities shrouded in mystery. This presents a unique challenge as it not only leaves families of the missing without closure but also hinders the process of justice and proper burial for the deceased. These cases highlight the importance of establishing effective mechanisms for identifying unidentified individuals, such as forensic techniques and databases. Unclaimed persons. In Tennessee, there are 630 open cases of unclaimed persons. These are individuals who have been identified but remain unclaimed by their families or legal representatives. The reasons for this may vary, from familial estrangement to lack of resources. Addressing this issue necessitates attention to social services, legal procedures, and support networks for individuals who find themselves alone in their final moments. The human impact. Behind these statistics are the very real human stories, the heartbreak, and the longing for answers. For the families of missing persons, the uncertainty is a constant burden, with many never giving up hope that their loved ones will be found. For those who remain unidentified and unclaimed, their stories are incomplete, and their memories remain disconnected from their identities. These unresolved cases cast a shadow on the affected families, law enforcement, and society at large. 
The issue of missing, unidentified, and unclaimed persons in Tennessee is a poignant reflection of the complexities and challenges faced by society. Each case represents a unique story, and the numbers tell of the collective impact on the community. The efforts to address this issue involve the tireless work of law enforcement, forensic experts, families, and organizations committed to resolving these cases. It is a reminder that there is still much work to be done to provide answers, closure, and justice to those affected by these unresolved cases.